This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. That's yeah, a really good win for our team. Um, this is a, a tough team to play against because of um, how well they score. Um, and just proud of our team defensively, especially in the first half, just setting the tone. And um, we were able to keep pace with them scoring in the second half to keep that lead. Proud of our team. Just with knowing where y'all stand in the SEC standings, coming into this game in Arkansas, needing some wins to climb back up at the standings, just how important was it to set that tone in the first quarter and come out and, and take that 25-9 advantage in the first quarter? For them or I mean, sorry. Yes. I thought he was talking to you, too. Oh. Talking to you too. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. You were. Oh, dear. Okay. Sorry. I That's thought they were. Right. Um, you know, one thing that we haven't talked about, we haven't really talked a lot about standings and we haven't talked about placement and movement. And I think what we've instead of focused on is us and what we need to do to be the best we can be. And when you do that, everything else takes care of itself. Now, obviously, as a coach, I understand uh where, where they are and what um, what they're trying to do. So I, you know, knew they're going to be fired up and ready to go. Um, I think it, I think that first quarter was important for us uh, to set the tone of how we were going to play and, um, you know, give us great confidence. And last thing for me, it just seemed like y'all had, would go on spurts when Arkansas just couldn't, they would get a shot and just couldn't really get the rhythm going. And you really held the lead out to, especially in the second half, even past 20 point lead. Just how important was that to not let them try to get back in the game? I feel like it was very important for our confidence on the defensive end. Um, defense is something that we've been really focusing in on and knowing that that's something that we need to um, do the little things of in order to beat these teams like that. And so seeing how we did in the first half was just really like rewarding for us and it made us want to go like even harder. Um, so, yeah. My question is kind of along the same lines for either player. Just how important is it, you know, whenever you go on the road to set that defensive intensity early um, like y'all did? Um, it's really important for us considering we struggle in some areas on defense. So coming out, defense leads to great offense. And if we take care of our defense, then the rest of it works out for us. For sure. And then offensively, of course, y'all had a great um, got a great start to just kind of get a big lead and it really was never close after the first quarter. Just how, how like, what was working for y'all on the offensive end early and what did y'all see out there from um, their defense? Mm -hmm. um, I also see our assists were very high. And we just had balanced production on the offensive end. You know, we had four or five people in um, double figures. So just being efficient, you know, executing our plays and knowing where we want to be and things like that. And staying on the boards, I feel like we did a really great job on the boards today. Yeah, and Rakia, just, you know, you're a veteran player in this league, just, um, and you had a great game tonight. Just what is it like, kind of, are you taking on a bigger leadership role with this team this year? Um, whatever role my teammates and my coaches need me to be in, um, I try to be more vocal, um, whatever I need to be for that day that um, I am. Um, I'm more of an encourager, you know, energy player, so I try to be that for our team. Are we doing questions for Coach yet? Okay. Um, coach, just at one point in the first half, leading by 26, you know, came out really hot. Just with a four and four road record, just how important was this game and what led to you all being so locked in from the start? Well, our team has, uh, I, I thought we've had a good week. Uh, I think we've, we've um, had really good practices leading up to the game. I think we've had really good focus and, and energy. Um, and when we don't, we can get it back really quick. Uh, I think they've been mature about that. Um, I, I think they, they were dialed in. Um, I think they did a really good job um, coming out uh, and communicating with one another on the defensive end. We made shots. There's, there's no doubt uh, when you make shots, things are, are a little bit easier. We, we made open shots today. I thought we shared the basketball, 20 assists, 15 turnovers is a good number for us. Um, and I thought our players understood how we needed to play and, and share, you know, in sharing the basketball, crashing the boards and um, having good spacing on the offensive end. And then how good was it to see Rakia and Jordan kind of leading the charge with those double doubles? Well, I think they're, you know, they're two players that probably should have double double about every night. Um, you know, they, they can score um, a, a lot in a hurry um, and they do a really good job 
of getting to the boards. And when when you see those big numbers from them, and then you've got um, several other people in double figures, you've got um, uh, several people with high assists. You know, Jasmine has nine points. So we're we got a lot of production from a lot of people. And uh, uh, Rakia and Jordan are both fantastic basketball players, fun to watch, fun to coach. Uh, but we're at our best when we're getting a lot of production from everybody. And then last thing for me is just when it comes to this team, you know, continuing to build towards all that potential um, that we've seen flashes of, just how close are you getting to that? And where did you see progress toward that? Well, I think just the focus on the defensive end was the the biggest area of growth, in my opinion, for our team today. I, I thought they did a really good job understanding what the challenge was going to be and then, um, then, then, you know, rising to meet that. There were still mistakes that we made. There's, there's no doubt it wasn't a perfect game by no means but um you know I think we can continue to build on this that's going to be the important thing is all right take this and let this be our baseline moving forward and then Kelly uh, earlier this week Mike said that these games are fun because you know you played at Tennessee you bleed uh orange he was a student here said he bleeds Razorback Red just what are those games like you know when, you know whenever y'all have those ties to the program yeah I, I think it's a really unique situation there there are not very many coaches in the country that or at their alma mater, and uh, uh, I know he's he's as passionate about this place as I am about Tennessee, and I, I think it's really special to have that opportunity. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from the NFL and bowl season to esports, you'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. We're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite leagues and events. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.